I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today's dis topic of discussion is EMFs and diseases. So electromagnetic fields and radiation and their correlation to manifesting specific diseases. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and turn on your notifications. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you'll always get our newest and latest uploads and any topic of discussion also that you would like to hear me discuss, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. So EMFs, we know and we've probably heard that, you know, the more research that you do, you can sort of go down this rabbit hole of finding more and more information that isn't readily heard or talked about in mainstream media. But certainly the evidence is there and it's quite compelling for the manifestation of different diseases and even aging. So because of the physiology, which I'll share in a completely different video about the VGCCs, the voltage gated calcium channels. This is something that I've discussed for years when I talk about anti-aging and the benefits of certain minerals to help to stop that and to stop from that excess influx of calcium getting into our cells. And we know that EMFs are synthetically now inundating our bodies and our VGCCs to allow for excess calcium to get into our cells and that increases the aging of our cells. It damages our mitochondria. So this is something that's completely preventable when we start to decrease our exposure to EMFs and to do that to the best of our ability. Another disease, Alzheimer's, is definitely related to EMFs and again relying on that same physiology with that too much calcium getting into the cells and causing something called excitotoxicity in our neurons so right within the brain and if we think about cell phone exposure and it's so close to the head of course that would have a negative impact on our brain cells. Infertility so those VGCCs especially in men so in male genitalia that's there's a huge concentration of the VGCCs and that's why that again that EMF exposure especially if a man either uses a laptop close to his genitals or keeps his cell phone in his pocket not a good idea guys so make sure if there's a man or if you're watching and you're a guy get that cell phone out of that pocket it's not a good thing equally as bad is to have it in your in your breast pocket so for women as well a lot of women will put their their cell phone into their bra strap when they're doing exercise or working around the house and things, not a good idea. You don't want this thing anywhere near your body if you can help it as well as cancer. So when we think about breast cancer, having the cell phone you know, near the breast, definitely not a good idea, but in other parts of the body as well. And again, the cell phone is just one source of EMF exposure. I have a complete other video that lays out all the different exposures of EMF, so be sure to check out that video as well. Sleep disorders are definitely really related to that decrease in that protection from that EMF. And so if you have difficulty sleeping, you can't get to sleep um, easily, or you have EMF exposure, and a lot of it, it's common to have a lot of this EMF exposure in, in the home and in the bedroom, this can really have a negative impact on your ability to sleep well. Now, has this been in the news? Well, it has. So in the Netherlands, there was actually some birds, unfortunately, that died, and hundreds of birds died when they were testing 5G in The Hague in Netherlands. So it's not something that was, you know, <laughs> discussed a lot in the news worldwide, but it should have been in my opinion, because yeah, if birds are dying, if nature is being affected by 5G, then of course we are electric as well as our animals that certainly it does have an impact on our health. ADD and ADHD, even autism, it has been linked to EMF exposure. And one study has shown uh, that the, in terms of children's exposure and how wireless technologies may affect childhood development. And this was um, a study that came out in 2018 of in January that discussed about the symptoms of retarded memory, learning, and cognition, attention, and behavioral problems that were reported and are similarly manifested in autism 
and ADD and ADHD as a result of EMF and RFR exposures. So damage to the DNA was also discussed in that paper. So really something that we have to, you know, I think talk more about and educate ourselves, but more importantly, stand up against, you know, some of these exposures that we have that are in sometimes preventable. There are alternatives. As well as cataracts, so in the outer coating of the lens, they have found in research that the EMFs definitely have an effect there, of course, and in the development of cataracts. And heart disease. So when I was saying, you know, pre previously about for, and this is something that I had to tell my dad about, he was wearing his cell phone in his shirt pocket. I'm like, what are you doing? Get that out of there, right on top of his heart. I mean, certainly not a healthy thing to do. So since that time, he's listened to me and he hasn't done that <laughs> anymore. But I hope that these tips are, are helping you because that correlation is there. If you do the digging like I do, you look at the research, there's definitely a correlation between this EMF exposure and your health. And there's a lot that we can do to prevent those negative effects. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos so that you learn more about EMFs. And I've got a ton of videos on YouTube. I want you to, I know, I, you know, a lot of our viewers have, have let me know that you, you sit down for a day and you watch one and then you, you're guided to the next and the next and the next because you love the content. So I thank you for that. Give me a big thumbs up, share this video. And again, I'd love to hear from you. So leave your questions and comments below and turn on that bell so that you always get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for joining me today.